All right, so today we're going to be doing a top 10 tier list for Dokkan Fest exclusives, of course, in Dokkan Battle. And I am live on twitch.tv slash Minatos underscore Flash. Say hello, Twitch chat, by the way. And we are going to be basically ranking these units, of course, in a top 10 format. And let's just really hop right into it, right? So there's not much else to say from beyond there. Um, follow the Twitch in the description below. <laughs> We have a lot of fun people in chat today. Okay, but let's go ahead and hop right in. So we'll start at number 10 right here in my tier list, which is actually going to be the Resurrection F Blue Goku and Vegeta. Hello, Tommy. <laughs> no one reads descriptions, true. So we have the Resurrection F Blue. Oh, this is the wrong one. This guy right here. So these guys are very, very strong, right? Um... You know, they could just triple super attack. This guy stacks. Pretty strong leader skill. Nice links, right? Just a very basic good unit about this. Um, I would say the issue... Uh, thanks, X-Man, by the way, for the follow. The issue with this one is... I just don't think that they really do anything special. They're really just pure attack and defense, right? Like, you know, they have the additional nice. It's just really all attack and defense with this Goku. Vegeta, he does change orbs, but it's only for like the first three turns. He can get pretty strong stats, that's for sure. And he has this nice super attack effect. My sign everything. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Ohad and then Riddick. I'm going to read this out during the video. I don't care. <laughs> um, I appreciate my followers, right? Yeah, I just think that, especially this Goku, it's a little he's a little weak defensively, right? The exchange is easy to get, but I don't know. I just think that they could have had... A little more oomph to them. I don't think they're bad. I just think that I would have liked if maybe if they had some evasion or something defensively on top of that, right? Um, will I add a Nat 2 video if you've been added points? Uh, that'll be only on Twitch, right? But yeah, that's why I have them at 10. I just think that they could have done a lot. Oh, it's not better with the unit. Yeah, I guess they could have made him better, right? I think just stat-wise, they should have been a lot better. This Goku, maybe stack... If this Goku, like, stacked defense, I think that would fix a lot of what's going on here. Uh, someone, rec someone redeemed an ad break. Let me play that right there. Congrats, chat. Ad time. To everyone, congrats. <laughs> Let's see here. But yeah, I think if they stacked defense, that would have been really, really good. Um... Unfortunately, that's the only other thing. So yeah, next we have a Tech Gohan. Right? <laughs> Tech Gohan is kind of like what I was saying that this guy should have had. So, you know, stacking defense, you know, maybe some like guard or something, right? I just think that this guy, again, on and on again, he just proves his worth every single time. Extremely versatile units and definitely is aging a little bit now, obviously, right? Especially offensively. But, you know, this guy has a pretty strong link set, say, at this point. There's a lot of units that have a lot of these links. He's on a good amount of these 200% leader skill teams as well, which is, again, very, very important. Um, you know, his active skill is not really that hard to get. And he looks, you know, he, he could be pretty solid even after transforming right here, right? This is the stacking, which sucks, but his damage isn't terrible anymore, right? Especially if you stack up for a long time. Um... It's really he's very simple very simple and good right and although he is technically also just stats i think he has the you know the guard it just really what well pushes him off the end and the stacking right compared to this unit in terms of being in difficult content because he has a way to take those super attacks i think the way the really important thing is units want to have a way to take these super attacks or reduce damage a lot less in red zone because red zone just is a huge power coup event and a lot of these old units that have like I mean, 400k defense, 500k defense, which used to be considered really high, they're now just taking like 700k damage from super attacks in the hardest stages, right? So this guy, his guard is able to nullify that because guard is actually like a, apparently it's like around like 60% damage reduction, basically, right? So again, that's very, very powerful with the stacking. Um, Next, we do have Esther Kidboo. So, Esther Kid Buu. Um, the thing with... I, I'll close these two for now, but... The thing with Esther Kid Buu is... He's very strong. I think his performance is all... It's just too strong. Like, what he could do is too much. 
his defense gets super high. He does way too much damage. His active skill is really good once you're able to get it off. Strong link set for boost units. It's just that he doesn't have a place right now. Again, that's the only thing. If he had a place, he could be like way up here, right? But I was even I would say like in certain situations, you know, this guy could look more better. Like defensively at very least, right? It's just that we really need another team for this guy to, for him to really pop off. Um, like, you know, you can see chat on the screen. He could do, like, very impressive numbers. He heals as well. I really like this healing. It's so strong. Um, I, the one thing I don't like about him is this. Like, you're not really going to see this often, but... Like, man, once Kid Buu gets a team 200% leader skill and he's able to, like, have some really good Buu units to link with... He'll go crazy, but right now, he just kind of laying dormant. Just a little bit right there. Uh, now we have Physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku, I think I have next, right? I would say I do have him above Kid Buu right now. The reason why is he's just on so many teams. These 200% teams is helpful. Again, strong link set. This guy is a little weak. I like the stun chance like that him and Kid Buu have is nice. Um... But he kind of does a little bit of everything, right? He has the additional super attack chance. He has a high chance to crit, right? Which is nice. This guy's like, again, I said like the resurrection at Blue Goku and Vegeta, right? I think the only issue with him is that he can't really tank that well. But I just think that his performance, especially in this form offensively, is so, so good. He's just, he does way too much damage, right? Um, and his defense, it's not like his defense is bad. I think people have a misconception that this guy's defense is bad. Like, he has a 12k defensive stat, right? Um, he doesn't really get that much defense from links, but he gets a good amount. And, you know, he get triple super, of quad super. If you get this a bunch of times, right, this 30% defense, you guys start looking really, really good. Um, I, I just like this guy a lot. I think he's very strong still. I would say, oops. Again, yeah, I think people underrate his defensive utility, especially in this form. Um, and that's really the big thing. He's just uh, very another kind of simple unit, right? And uh, personally for me, like, I have mine built with dodge. So you could actually just still dodge attacks, right? Because he does crits and additionals already in his passive, right? So <laughs> that's the funny thing right there. All right, by the way, I see someone in chat slandering Yotsuba. Bans. What about that, huh? Mr. Vilify. If you guys don't, haven't checked out Vilify, he also does make really good um, Dokkan content. A small content creator for sure, uh, but he makes really good content, so you should come out and make him not a small content creator. He's a 25.9 actually. You see my mouse is already hovering over this guy. In Majo Vegeta's next, um, massively improved by, of course, I'll just bring up the LR. The LR Vegeta and Trunks here, where is he at? Vegeta and Trunks. Hello? Am I crazy? And there's this guy. Um, really helped this guy out by having a really good trunks on his teams, right? He fits under this guy's leader skill, right? And with the damage reduction with trunks, especially if we get the six orbs, it's really, really good. I, th I think that his design, again, could have been a little better in terms of not needing six orbs. But like with this LR, it doesn't really need a key. So you can save all the key spheres for him. This is not really tough to get, and he, he can orb change, which is very nice, right? He's very tanky. Um, I think I have two issues with him, though. Over in a flash, this kind of sucks. If you had prepared for battle, that'd be so good. And my second issue is that he doesn't really do damage, right? Like, I'd say these guys out damage him. This guy and this guy all out damage him. Um, even Tech Gohan, if you, like, stack him up for, a, for like, a solid amount of time... Transform gets super effective. He could do more damage than this guy. That's that's the issue with him. His damage is not on par, really, for these other units. Though his defense, I think, is uh, obvious. I personally think defense is way more important than offense in some situations, right? Especially like red zone taking super attacks, right? He could really reduce that damage that they take, obviously, with his 50% damage reduction. Um, he gets a lot of defense on super, right? You know, right, right here and right here as well. I'd say, unfortunately, though, his 200% leader skill is not really that great. That's all. That's another thing about him. Like, compared to, like, this unit, you know, I think their 200% is better, right? But I just think his performance in any game contest is too strong to not include him, uh, like, higher than them. So, 
yeah, that's my personal opinion. I think Majin Vegeta would be five above these guys at this point. Before Vegeta and Trunks, he would be like probably like nine, but even like ten. But now he's right here. He's looking pretty strong, so that's really good for him. Uh, Majin Vegeta is pretty good. Next, I do have AGL Cell. So AGL Cell again is a very strong unit here. Um, the thing about it, I'm gonna I'll put on some new tabs actually. I'm gonna do that just so people don't leak, right? But <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. The issue with AGL Cell, I would say, is like in red zone early on. Like he's very strong, right? But he loses, he gets a ton of these buffs when facing more ultimate enemies, which some red zone stages you can see it, some you don't, right? But um, I think a lot of times you don't actually go ahead and see it. This is nice, right? But it's not like anything special, right? Um, easy transformation condition. His link says not really that great either, right? But I think I think he's just too strong, right? Especially like the second form cell is nice, but perfect cell. His defense is actually absurd, right? This. And then on top of this, and then he has a high chance to do additional super attack. His Android team is really strong. He has he has a much better link set, I think, now when he's here, like with like the other cells, physical LR cell, right? For example. Um and then again, at this point, facing one enemy is not really that bad for this guy. He has what a 35% to evade and crit, which is pretty nice, right? I I, I think the cell does a lot of good things about him um this rage mechanic could be actually quite interesting as well i think that if you're able to get out the rage mechanic it could definitely definitely save you in difficult content 100 percent of the time right in certain obviously in certain situations right but he can have the guarantee crits which is pretty cool right um but yeah outside of that i mean I, again sells really strong his defense actually is way high enough if you get like a triple super he could tank like even red zone broly right <laughs> even without damage reduction and against a lot of bosses he has a dodge chance right i don't know i really like this a lot i think he's six i think that this gohan and goten uh and goten, my... goku gohan is better no i'm not gonna put him on the tier list and explain i'm gonna go one by one so haha <laughs> this goku gohan is better i would argue this goku is better than people think he is i would say he's better than cell and that sells against like three enemies like before it goes perfect right when cell goes perfect he's better than this goku uh but this goku has a nice tech with him he has the stun his stacking attack is cool for gohan he has the evading once you super attack right um but really you just want to get this guy out of the way and you want to get this guy out if this guy was like sort of turn he might be even the best unit on this list right which is why he's ranked so high um the guard that he gets, right? You have to just hit, get hit six times. When he's in this difficult content, he's not really that bad. He could tank like anything in the game with his guard. He gets so many buffs from here. Great raise is really amazing. Strong link set. Good amount of teams that he's on. 200% leader skill teams. This counter chance is pretty cool too. Uh, like against Omega, right? He's a really good unit for Omega. Because you can have a 70% chance to counter. And if you don't counter, you can tank him. <laughs> Which is really good. Issue with this Gohan, I'd say, is that, again, it takes a little too long to get him out. And their leader skill isn't really great, right? But I think their leader skill, like, their team is one of the best teams for Broly. And just no item. Just in general, Red Zone. I think their leader skill is incredible. The team, the units that are on here. Like, Physical Future Gohan, for instance. Tech Gohan, right? AGO Kid Gohan. A lot of these units are on here. Because Goku Family is such a huge category team, right? Yeah, that that's a good thing with the pie. Uh, this is good. But this is bad. This could have been... Imagine if this is Kamehameha. <laughs> That'd be insane. Or like, you know... Like, interested. Well, maybe accelerate battle. Something like that. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on this guy. I think that... This should have been less. But, that, that's, that's what I think. Um, Tech Andrews is next, right? I mean, at this point, you can kind of tell. So, I'll just fill out the rest, right? I think that it's like this, right? But I'll talk about tech androids first and I'll close all these because it's it's kind of annoying seeing all of them open. <laughs> um, these guys are just really good. Orb changing, they can heal you a lot with the orb changing. 
this is a huge number to get per key sphere obtained they get seal which is nice for like omega m broly um this is a nice effect too the nullification is just actually absurd the, the nullification is just like this is so bro broken nullification is so busted against key blast super attacks like you a lot of enemies you just don't take damage right then they have this ghost usher which is insane <laughs> it's like they do too much right and then if you get amr keys for somehow you're able to get this defense buff, which is quite huge right i think that um the only issue with their androids is that they're only on the cell team i'd say is like a small issue with them and their link set isn't really that great they link with like 19 to 20 right they're good at the androids team but i want to say their link set's crazy and I think that, you know, they don't like, defensively, they're really good, but they're not like, you know, like one shotting these bosses offensive like these other units can. Um, which is why I wouldn't put them above these two. Because these two are really strong defensively, but also kind of have the potential to just one shot all these bosses, right? Both Ginyu and Pan. So we'll talk about Pan. There's a lot going on with Pan right here. She's a new unit. Um,. The Super Saiyan 4 is Goku's in the active, so Pan's better, huh? Again, Pan would be better than Ginyu if she was given the love Ginyu give, got, right? Ginyu has way better, I would say, team to use him right now to full effectiveness. You know, he supports, he has the heal, which I really like the heal that he can get. Where is it? 59% HP recovery is really good. He can get the scouter sometimes, right? 50% chance to create and evade stacking defense like there's a lot going for this skinny he supports again like i said super effective but pan just like could just kill the enemy right um <laughs> straight up pan could just like destroy the enemy like easily especially if you have this active the active skill with the crits and then greatly raise attack temporarily um i just think when you really use the units though it is a little bit of a gap overall for ginyu just because pan doesn't have the help like trunks gt like look at look, let's look at trunks gt none of these units are really good right like, you know giru right here obviously the, the, this giru is a goat he has a 200 percent leader scope but like you know nothing special this guy wasn't as good as he should have been right greatly raising defense would have helped this guy right there so much dodging something like that um even Goku GT is not really that great right now. Like if we take a look at, if we take a look at Goku GT, right? Like, you know, none of these guys are good. I'd say this guy is pretty solid, but he's not like crazy or anything right like that. You can get away with this guy, I guess, but he just gets like one tapped by enemies, right? These guys all suck. These guys all suck. And then Super Saiyan 4 Goku doesn't count because he's not, he doesn't have GT in his name. So that sucks. And I feel like this guy counted, that'd be way better for Pan, but unfortunately he does not. So I don't know. Um Hers Link said strong. She's done a solid amount of these 200 percent leaders go teams too, but I just think that um Yeah, I'm just not really that big of a fan necessarily. Oh Ajimik, thanks for the follow. I mean what you can do though, <laughs> you can actually run um the Ginyu units under Pan's leader skill on Dragon Ball Seekers. You gotta have a rotation of Ginyu and a rotation of Pan. And that'd be crazy. Uh, but this jungle music, it's Sonic Ghost Team. Um, Pan on our best turn could look way better though. I would say that for sure. But yeah, that's why I have Pan above uh, under Ginyu actually. And this is my top 10 list. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys in the comments below think. Again, catch me on Twitch when I'm live, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.